cover your ears for a minute, people listening at home. Good artwork. You're gonna uh, race it after? Mm-hmm. You're gonna race it after? I'm not interested. You're not interested? In erasing it? Did he ask you to come out here? Yeah. He's been out here before. I've seen him. He's been like, I don't know if you can do this. I have to call the authorities. He gets on his little microphone, he calls the authorities, okay. and then he's like, oh, apparently you can do this. So, what brings you guys out here this evening? What do you think? I don't know. I know you guys usually sit behind the desk there, so... This is strange. Is there a reason you're, like, following me as I walk away? Like, it's weird. Circling. Go ahead. Hey, I'm just, uh, with the payment, uh, if you can clean up with master alcohol. I already advised him. Yeah, the general court uh, doesn't have to incur the cost of cleaning up the uh, material, no different than if we had a, a paper or cardboard post that carry in a carry out, so he cleaned that number out. 10-5, copy that. You hear that? I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Was your friend telling you over here? He said, that was my chief. He said, uh, you're going to be able to clean this up now. He, uh, what are you guys going to do if I don't clean it up? Sue me and charge me with a crime. What's your plan? What are you doing? I'm gonna go about enjoying life, unlike you guys. Man, I think it's like, I don't know how long you've been on the job. This guy's been on long enough to know better because I've talked to him in the past. But uh, you guys should know this is completely legal. There's nothing against any of your codes and provisions about it. So I don't know why I'm not getting a good shot of this because it's pretty good shot to get, but. Um, there's nothing against your rules about this, so there's no reason for you to be out here acting like there's any sort of problem here. And uh, so that's what I don't understand. I notice every time I try to turn the camera on you guys, you like move away. So here's what well, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it on up. you. You have your own cameras. If you got you got a camera over there looking at me. You got all your own cameras on me. So what does it matter? So what's your name? Edmonds. Well, the thing is that, just like I told you last time, that someone has to clean this up. No, they don't. They can leave it alone, and the rain will take care of it. But, of course, you don't like the message, so that's why you're out here no, going to be like, Oh, I don't care about a this, message. I just care about a message. This is not you approved, are free, approved by the state. No one's saying that you can't. Uh, no one's saying I can't. Look at Edmonds out here acting like it's causing a problem or something. No There's no problem. I was just advised to let you know that... You're supposed to clean it up after. And you can, I did my job. And you can advise your boss that what he's asking me to do is not within his purview and is none of his business and is inappropriate, uh, an inappropriate thing to ask a civilian, a citizen that's out here expressing themselves within their First Amendment uh, boundaries and guidelines to be telling them that they shouldn't be doing that or that they have to remove it. No one said that. That's it's complete crap, so. No one said that. I don't know, I've got two grown men, one of them standing here with his hand on his hip like he's a patronizing mother looking at me, pointing his little camera at me. I mean, come on, you guys are already recording me. You know what the chief said, it's, it's about cleaning, it's not about Well, the I'm sorry to your chief, but your chief is incorrect. You're incurring more work by state workers that cost no. taxpayers money. They could just leave this alone and ignore it, but they choose not to. Hello, what's your name, sir? Daigle, D-A-I-G-L-E. Three grown men out here. Well, I mean, come on, this is kind of silly. When they call her. It's pretty cool. Well, that's, that's a better yeah, reason than... Color. That's a better reason than these two have expressed for being out here, let me tell you. I think he's making the right choice, and I think you guys should do the same unless you want to ask some intelligent questions, not silly ones about who's cleaning it up, because that's just silly, man. Thank you. We'll be in touch. The state's always touching things they're not supposed to. You better tag me in that when you upload it.
All right, so that's one thing I've noticed here at the State House. It's been a long time, and I used to do it out on the, the sidewalk more towards the street. But uh, why are these guys coming out here when we're out in a big group on 420? We're all smoking herb, we're all enjoying ourselves out here chalking. They leave us alone, but when it's one person out here like myself, uh, they get they get very sketchy and suspicious. And, and while they didn't say anything that was all that overtly... Uh, offensive or aggressive, like implying arrest or whatever, the body language I really was not liking. These guys were like circling around me and when I went to get my camera like he was wa he was standing like right next to me. If I like had creepily gotten up and just stood right next to these guys I think they would have been like whoa slow down son like but they do these strange these movements that they would call suspicious um, that they come up and just do to people next to people and, uh, but yeah, that, that Soviet sounding guy, I've got videos of him in the past where he comes out here and he's like, you need to clean that up. And I'm like, no, I don't. And uh, I don't know why they even imply that, why they even say that, because there, there's nothing true about that. There's nothing remotely, uh, there's no, there was never any sort of case, there was never any sort of law saying that you have to clean up chalk that you put on the ground in public. Um, so I'm exercising a right, and I'm like, why are you guys trying to discourage that? And they're like, that's not what we're doing. We're not violating your rights, buddy. Um, but, but obviously they were, so. But it's cool. They ran off now, and that one guy said, we'll be in touch as he left. That was a little, a little creepy. You wonder what that means. Like, and I said to him, states always putting their hands where they don't belong. That's, that's their job. I'm out here uh, chalking about people that are literally being held in concentration camps against their will.